Hey, what is going on you guys? My name is Dopey and welcome back to another GTA 5 video for you guys here today. Now, I'm going to be talking about some things that are kind of ruining my online experience and might be ruining yours too. So, this is like part one of a series that I'm going to do about this issue and uh, if you guys to enjoy the video, I'll like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Number one on this list has got to be this issue right here. Yeah, it sounds like a two year old. Huh? Yo, mama! Oh, son! <laughs> Why would you say that about my mom? <laughs> we're just I'm kidding, joking. we're just playing. Oh, we're playing, we're, we're, we're playing. playing. Can you fix your mic? Why? It's making a weird yeah, noise. Look. Yo, mama's making a weird noise. So this is a really, really big issue, you guys. Especially if you're just trying to enjoy the game. But instead, we're dealing with squeakers almost every day. And they're not even old enough to be playing GTA 5. Or you got the guy that's munching on chips, listening to rap music, and the mic. It gets kind of annoying. Up next, we have the MK, oh, the Oppressor MK2, and the Oppressor. Pretty much labeled as the tryhard vehicle of GTA 5 Online, and it's pretty much that vehicle that we never really wanted in GTA 5. However, the concept is cool, but the outcome was not. It pretty much leaves the online, you know, kind of balance, you know, off balance now that this is in the game and uh, we all like a, a nice online multiplayer to be balanced and it's completely not with this vehicle. It's completely just destroying the online experience as it's in the game. Now, Rockstar has tried to balance the vehicle, you know, here and there, but each time it just doesn't work and it's that time to where we just kind of you know say hey you know if you are you know a part of the creative team to Rockstar um, get rid of the vehicle it honestly this is not Saints Row uh, we need GTA 5 online to be more balanced and this vehicle definitely needs to go now another thing that's been balanced quite a bit I would say is the Orbital Cannon but even as Rockstar has balanced this you know, to the most that they can, people have found glitches, uh, bugs, and everything else that goes along with this thing, and it's just kind of annoying, and uh, it doesn't really seem to fit GTA 5 Online. Uh, it seems more of like a Saints Row kind of thing. Um, so I would recommend taking this out and kind of bringing a little bit more balance into GTA 5 Online, uh, having this thing out of the game. It, it's just kind of a buzzkill. However, I do like the military kind of style GTA is going with the game, but I don't feel like it's been the same after gun running. It's just the oppressor and the, you know, Orbital Cannon and the oppressor MK2, they just need to go and then I will be fine with it. Uh, I love the military kind of thing kind of going on, the tanks, the jets, uh, but I do not appreciate this and I do not appreciate, you know, things that just don't make sense in real life and they don't make sense in the game. I mean, I, I, I don't recommend having this in a GTA kind of game. While these guns are not going to ruin GTA 5 Online, it still doesn't fit GTA 5 Online. We all know Saints Row was a successful game and Rockstar knows that and they figured why not let's go ahead and add that kind of a type of oh let's go ahead and add that type of a game into GTA 5 Online and let's see how it goes. Overall they're just going too far with the game and I'm pretty sure we're all kind of seeing that right now. Instead of making improvements to the game they only just disappoint us and I love Rockstar I love you know some of their older games I love GTA San Andreas. Um, GTA Vice City and you know I'm just really disappointed on how far they went with GTA 5 you know looking back at, you know over the years and um, I hope it gets better however I'm sure we can all agree that these you know weapons don't really fit the time period of GTA 5 and it doesn't fit you know GTA 5 at all and it really just makes us not really want to be interested in any other further updates I mean the last update was pretty cool, um, it didn't really have to do with anything, you know, too far, but it still really wasn't GTA, and the vehicles were just, you know, too far-fetched, in my opinion, uh, to even be in the game. But however, at the end of the day, I know my opinion's not really going to change anything, so we have to pretty much just agree to disagree on some of these issues, but at the end of the day, um, we all can agree that this isn't GTA 5 Online. 
Now the last issue I have with this game is that the leveling system is garbage. Um, so with that being said, you can join into GTA 5 Online, uh, buy a shit ton of you know shark cards, and then you can honestly buy whatever you want. There's no balance to that, and that's kind of what bothers me too about this game is that you know you can be any level and get you know a hangar at the military base and just go on in there. I mean. Uh, there's no level to it, and that's the problem. I mean, I'm level like 260 something right now And you know, that's kind of unfair to us players that have been playing for a long time is that these players can just buy whatever they want and Not have to have any level to buy those things now I'm sure you have to be like a level 10 to get you know jets to spawn in the in the military base But that's level 10. I mean come on you can get to level 10 in like 20 minutes but as we look at the store, you know, you can buy whatever you want right here. There is no leveling system at all. And that's, you know, what baffles me about GTA is that we can log in and buy shark cards like I just said. And this right here is for everybody. They can buy this at any level. I mean, I'm sure there is a certain level, you know, but it's not, you know, that to the type of level that it should be. And that's kind of what bothers me. You know, you can easily just get on and you know fuck around for a minute and boom you have things that are just gonna you know ruin the experience of online so if this were to be you know a fixed issue and levels were to actually um comply with the actual gameplay of the game and we would have a level system and you know say the um tank would be like i don't know level 100 uh, that would be that would be fine because it would take a level to get there and that's something that's not really there with the game is that we can just buy it whenever um, and I think that's Rockstar being greedy because they want you to buy shark cards and stuff like that but that you know just ruins the experience and that's something they should really you know think about is that hey we should really balance the game out that way they have to be a certain level to get these things and at the same time you know it would make us all happy but my name is Dopey, you guys. Hope you guys wanted to enjoy the video, like the video, share the video, and subscribe. Comment down below on something you would like me to discuss in part two, because this is only part one. And I will see you guys in the next GTA 5 online video. And I will be bringing back new money glitches here soon. So take care and peace out, you guys, and have a lovely night.